Hi, this is Everyday Experiments. Where we show you how to make beautiful images with stuff you can find around the house. Oh, and an iPhone 12. We're going to make some really cool videos using just balloons, colored paper, and the slow-mo feature on my iPhone. So for this, we're not going to use your typical water balloon. Instead, we're going to use party balloons. They're a lot stronger and they don't burst as easily. The cool thing about slow-mo is I can play with time and slow down the balloons and see all the cool shapes that are usually a little too fast for the human eye. Here's a fun thing. After you've shot the video, you can go into the Photos app and edit where the slow motion effect starts. Right about there. Cool. That works. Okay, if you want to get really crazy, take the footage, import them into iMovie on your iPhone. Use the green screen and blue screen feature to stack the video so you can have balloons bouncing on top of balloons. It says green screen, but you can use any color. I'm using pink. They say oil and water don't mix, and that's great for us. We're going to use some baby oil and water to create vibrant abstract images. Now we just add baby oil. You can see oil floats to the top and the water stays on the bottom. And what we're interested in is this section where they meet, and that's where all the cool action is gonna happen. For me, what's really important here is choosing what to show in the frame. Nice. I like that. It's cooler with more colors. Always play with how you're looking at the subject. Cool thing about a camera this small is that you can put them anywhere. Even here. Hold on, I need to focus. Tap the screen. Oh, the palm trees are cool. Hang on. Oh. It's like a 90s music video. I know. <laughs> Which is cool, by the way. It's nice and dark out. Perfect for night mode. But today, I'm going to try and hack it with some glow sticks and some string lights. We're going to try the new night mode time lapse feature. For that, you'll need a tripod. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, oh. set. Keep going just like that. Nice. So you can think of night mode as being a little like long exposure. And long exposure means instead of a snap, the camera gathers light for a long time. But night mode does this in a much smarter way. Okay, here I go, James. Hold really still. And here we go. One last time, I promise. 